Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.here. Welcome to another How To Network Tip of the Week. Now let me quickly check the date. It's actually Friday the 6th of November. I normally send out this tip on a Thursday. Uh, I'll explain why the tip's one day late in a moment. So uh, the first thing I wanted to say is congratulations to two students who've passed their CCNA who are members of the website this week. David Tennant, who studied really hard and passed his CCNA. And also Amrita Bohr, Sorry if I haven't pronounced your name correctly. You passed your CCNA and you got a really good score. So congratulations, guys. One of the uh, first things I'd like to say is the first module, the first theory module for the CCNA voice is ready. We're going through the C voice on the website. Um, we did a poll with all of the readers and this looks like far more marketable out of the two CCNA voice qualifications. The other one's got more of graphical user interface, which generally is a lot easier to work out how to use if you're using GUIs. I'll uh, flash up a link for the very first voice module. Hopefully we'll have a couple, two or three more for you next week. And certainly come towards the end of November, the entire CCNA voice should be up on the site and ready to rock. Uh, so the other big news is a lot of you have been, have been asking for a CCNA audio guide. Um, there's only I think only other one on the market and that's actually five years out of date so if you come to howtonetwork.net if you want to read about it you can go to the new product um, area which is audio books and then when you come down to that you can click on the picture of the mp3 player so CCNA simplified which is my Cisco CCNA study guide I've recorded the entire book now onto mp3 format um, if you go, if you look through the table area, it's basically every single subject that I cover on the audio guide I've put onto the table here. There's some new areas that I've actually added into the new study guide, switch troubleshooting, port security, I've improved the spanning tree and the rapid spanning tree areas in the book and I've added some VLSM and route summarization. So it's basically me explaining the concepts. I don't tend to read the book out word for word, although I do read a lot of it out, but I'll explain concepts and, and have a little bit more um, of a chit chat about the areas. So you can read that. It's in MP3 downloadable format. There's a few little notes I wanted you to um, take, well, take note of. Um, it's for your personal use. It's sent via MP3 via a download link, so I'm not going to be posting you any CDs. The other thing is it takes around three to four business days to send you the product. The reason is we put another track on when you order it and it'll have your name in the background. You won't be able to hear it, but it'll be there as a detectable track in the background and that's for security. There's also a bonus track, how to succeed in your Cisco exams. I've recorded that specially and the only place you can get it is on this page after you've ordered the uh, product. So there you go. For those of you that are interested, I, I hope you enjoy that. Now, the other thing is we've still got the CCNA security challenge on and the good news for you is if you're interested in passing your CCNA, if you go to CCNA security and then the thousand dollar challenge, there's only eight people signed up for this. Um, so if you're the one that passes your IINS, the CCNA security exam, then you're going to probably be the one that wins the money. So uh, I do encourage you to fill in the entry form for that and join in. Another thing I wanted to cover briefly, and it's a bit of a shorter tip this week, is an iOS command of the week. We cover a different iOS command every week. And I see people getting caught out with this in the exam. If you scroll all the way, no, line VTY command, sorry, you click on access class. What I just want you to make a note of is how you apply an access list to a line. If you want to apply an access list to an interface, it's IP access dash group and then the number. But when you apply it to a line, such as your VTY and console lines, then it's actually the command is only access dash class and then the number. Why you actually do that, I don't know. It's just part of the programming code. All right, the other thing I wanted to mention is, and this is just for members of the site, if you're having problems with your rack, normally you'll email us for racks, uh, the racks um, support, racks at howtonetwork.net. Sometimes emails don't arrive and sometimes we send them and you don't receive the replies, especially if you've got a Yahoo address. So if you're having problems with your rack access, please come to the forum, click on racks, 
and just log a question on there and then the Racks team once they will log in and answer your questions and, and sort out your accounts if you've got any problems. Alright, the only other thing I wanted to say is if you've missed out on any articles recently in the last couple of um, episodes, if you come to hatternetwork.net, I've got some cool articles on there that I think you'll really enjoy. The fastest way to the past the CCNA. Um, had, would you sell your TV for a million dollars and that's about motivation and uh, goal setting and some news about the Cisco CCMP exams. Alright, so it's a short tip this week because I've been really busy um, recording the CCNA audio guide and I'll see you next week.